Whoa, look at that. All shiny and new yet. It's a wood miser. Hey everybody, it's Sharon here. It's Friday, March 26th, and it is gorgeous out. I just got home from work. I like the daylight savings because it gives me a little extra time to play when I get home. So I am going over to our neighbor who has a sawmill, one of those portable ones, and I am so jealous. Just saying, Joe, a little bit jealous here. Uh, but he has some scrap wood that he said I could pick through. And he said he'll cut me whatever I need if I bring him some stuff. So I'm going to run over there right now and um, see once what's out there. It's really just the outer shells, uh, you know, the first cut or two from the trees. I'm not even sure what kind of species it is. But either way, I'm going out there. I need some fresh air and I always love to look at uh, fresh cut wood. So come on along. So Joe cleaned up a lot of the um, trees that were dead and standing and um, some that were uh, cut down but I always told him he forgot this one it was a really big tall one and very dead well in the storms we had yesterday um, man mother nature took care of it and look at that it landed perfect right on the fence line Oh, right here he has some beautiful oak. He said he was going to use it, but uh, because of the splits in it, he's not. So I might grab those. Oh, here's the toy. Gosh, he said you can get that for like less than seven or $8,000. Let me think here, Joe. How much was your last little attachment to a, one of your toys? I think a lot more than that. Look at this nice pile. This is all red oak. He said it was a tree that the power company cut down because it was in the high line. And again, it was starting to die. So it has a lot of, uh, I don't know, character, I guess you could say in it. And what I was really looking at from the road was just this pile. I was just happy to be able to dig through any of this. Oh, I might have to go back and get the truck and a trailer. I think that would be a great addition to all the equipment that's sitting out in our yard right now. What do you think? Well, I got a few boards. Ones that I can lift. They're beautiful. Oh my gosh, these guys here. It rained last night, so they're wet. But they're a solid two inches and they're at least ten feet long. And they are heavy. I can't lift them. At least not lift them onto there. So I'm going to have to wait till we get a tractor or some more muscles here. But man, those are pretty. Hey Joe, I think I found the perfect spot for it. Nice and flat. It'll get sun back here. And it will just blend right in with all these other things. 
I like that idea. Not bad for free, huh? Well, you can see I have like a, I don't know, just a couple other little branches laying over here next to his rock pile. Um, I guess that's my wood drying rack. I'm just going to put it back here. This gets full sun. Gets lots of air. I know I need more stickers uh, in between there. I really need like one by ones. But this will at least give it a little bit of breathing room in between. Um, so that it can at least start drying. But it looks like I got a lot more room to stack them up. Look at how much room I got. Joe, we gotta go back and get some more. <laughs> <laughs>